Vanna City Council passing an ordinance this afternoon that targets gun owners who leave weapons in unlocked cars. WSAV's Nakia Harris sat in on that meeting today, and she joins us tonight with reaction. A unanimous vote continuing City Council's aim to stop gun violence in the city. The lost or stolen firearm ordinance ensures gun owners are penalized for leaving their weapons unprotected. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. I'm literally Motion falling apart. Passes. <laughs> Lock up your guns. In my opinion, this is how so many young people can gain access to weapons to go out and commit a crime that they really don't have a good understanding about. Thursday's city council meeting left Minnie Gilbert filled with joy. She's a Savannah resident, mom and grandmother with a story involving gun violence. Well, my grandson was murdered April 29th of 2020. We buried him May 3rd of 2020. She walked out of her job to get into her car. They shot six bullets into her vehicle May the 29th of 2023 and killed her right on the site. Savannah Mayor Van Johnson pioneering the lost or stolen firearm ordinance, saying stolen firearms can open the door to more gun violence. This year, and we're only in the 11th day of the fourth month, we've had 69 firearms stolen from vehicles and 56 of those were stolen from unlocked cars. Mayor Van Johnson says in 2023, 244 firearms were stolen, 203 of those from unlocked vehicles. For us, that was an issue because that was 244 opportunities for someone to be shot, victimized or killed by those weapons. If you are a gun owner, you must now report the stolen firearm to the police department within 24 hours of discovery. If a firearm is left in a vehicle, it must be secured and hidden. So this ordinance creates the opportunity for someone to either take it with them or secure it when the car is not in use in a glove compartment Trump. Once the ordinance is signed by Mayor Johnson, it will go into effect immediately. Moving forward, make sure your doors are locked to avoid up to a $1,000 fine or no more than 30 days in jail. Now with this ordinance, lock up your weapons, otherwise you are going to be held responsible. Now tomorrow, News 3 will be speaking with Savannah residents who are against the gun ordinance. Until then, I'm Nakia Harris, WSAV News 3 on your side.